Yo. Welcome oh. back. I see y'all hit that five likes again, so y'all must love it. I might just take off the light gold, man. I don't know. We go see. Five likes for the next part, though. Let's get right into it, man. Six months later. Six months later from our promotion. The red lipstick murder. Oh, we on homicide now. Okay. Bet. This pants pressed with the overcoat. Oh, sh damn. Oh, <coughs> okay. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Oh, my God, it's him again. Let's get this over before lunch. Get you some pants to get him pressed. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst. A man guessed from 25 years of police work. Okay. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. Bro, we was in traffic, not burglary. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. I've been Rusty in the major Galloway. Fine lawman of the old school will be taking you under his wing. Rusty? Nice to meet you, Your Rusty. First case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Oh, we got a new partner. Hey, I miss my man, I miss my dog. Oh yeah, y'all, we out here. Gold suit <coughs> pressed up. I yeah, know I had the you feel me. You have the address. Been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street between Belmont and Glendale. Okay. Ugh, sister, I was so tight I couldn't. He's a little more serious than Bukowski, though. I miss my dog. Your lips are moving. Hey, can I make you drive too? I think he's a bit of. This your car? Bukowski car was better. Where are you going? Drive the car. I'm going over to Case Notes. I'm bullying every partner. Drive the wood. What happened listen? to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the deck. So where does that leave you, Galloway? <clears throat> leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. Mm. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf. Examiner came up with the black dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, we got nothing. I don't think this has anything to do with it. No, I don't. 90% of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife and takes it too far. It's be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, it's a one off. Mm. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lift from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? Mm. It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. <clears throat> Tell me to get no suit and get it pressed. Rusty, let me take a lead on this. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. How about a scoop for that damn hairline? Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Get him. Let's do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. Get him. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures. You got your headlines. Now scram. All right, Rusty. Rusty about that action. I like Rusty. Is that going to show the body? Oh! Oh! Oh, man. All right, fellas. Trollman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. 
kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. All right, y'all. The body was dragged. There go the body. I'm avoiding that right now. Let's check the surrounding area. Then we gonna check the back. Some lipstick in there. Looks okay. brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Brand new lipstick. Okay. Why they all got Why they all keep a brush on them? What's going on with this? This is our first murder case, y'all. Y'all think we gonna kill it or what? Y'all got faith in your boy? Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Okay, South America. No. I don't know. That locked in. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Bow. Okay. Uh. Uh. Right there. Boom. All right. The bomb club. club. Why steal a table lighter? Properly of the Bomba Club. Okay. Okay. So now we got where we can go after this. Anything else over here? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm hearing something. Hold on. This okay. doesn't pertain to the case. Oh, okay. Somebody just got an old one. Oh, oh, blunt. All right. Time to check out the body. Should I talk to him first? Didn't check out the body. Cause of oh, death no. could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. Damn! What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. I don't even know how to handle this. My goodness. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. God damn. Look like this game get 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 crazy with it. Interesting. BD. Okay. Uh Oh no, I guess that's it. Damn, bro. What's and it's crazy people actually do that. BD. Like Dahlia? X. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of day? We're gonna catch this From sick the temperature, dude. Though. I'd say after midnight. He's sick. I'll confirm with you later. He's sick. We're gonna catch bro. Just for the simple fact that he operate like this. Am I missing some evidence? Yeah. Boot prints. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Size eights. Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Can we get to the Bomba? A man could die of thirst in a case like this. All right, let's get to the Bomba Club. Then, bro. Hey, see, I'm getting over there. Get over this one too. Ha! ha. Stop playing with me. Big Phelps, this your new partner. Hey, look, look how you step over versus me. Come on now. Drive the car. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? We're going to the Bomba Club. Rusty, asking all them questions. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? Big head to hang on the wall. Caller of the decade. We've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicks. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, oh. hot shot. Okay, Much Phil. More like it. 
werewolf comes back around, leaving us a note in the corpse. He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Damn, Rusty! A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. For some opportunist who's been reading about the 3D diggers, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's mm. not totally fantastic. You know, the examiner of the Daily News might be getting coming up with a model. I feel like, yeah, the game about to take a turn. The reason we the bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, okay. folks, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. Back. Make it something today. You understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. Found I'm coming for this werewolf, dude. Damn, Rusty. Bomber Club. What's the name of the victim? Clues. What's the name of the victim? It's injury, blunt force trauma, people. What's the name of the victim? Murder victim. What's her name? Her name is just murder victim. Okay. Blonde. Okay. 40s. Okay. Let's go to work, Rusty. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. Mm. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Five feet seven, about 110 pounds. Temporary bar man. hair, about 40 years of age. <clears throat> you mean Celine Henry? Oh, you remember her name. Everybody's yes. a suspect. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? I want to ask you some questions. Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here in a little part. Pour me a few things of rye. I can't ask you no question. I don't mean to be rude, but I've got work to do. Yeah, whatever, dude. You ought to meet your buddy. This him back here, huh? Looking like the ball. Big dog, what up with you? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? You going to pay for that? Oh, Christ. Yes, yeah, Celine. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Selena's is... was a lovely woman. Okay, he looked over genuinely hurt. What you know about the husband? You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. I'm a doubt that. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual. But... He refused. Mm. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Mm, okay, so where the hell was he at? Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Okay. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. You want a tip? Let me get you that, big dog. Next time, honey. A waitress. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Where's that goddamn place? 
That's who she left with. Gotcha. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. But hold on, though. I didn't get to ask my last question. Whatever. Let's keep it pushed. Where the phone at? Let's get me miss. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. Coat check. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Hey, honey, what time to get off here? Let me use the phone. Operator, give me R and I. Felt bad soil forty seven. Hit him, Felt. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. Mm hmm How could I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please do. Please. Thank you. We out of here. Sam I'm big cold to you. Hey, get in the driver's seat. I don't you know drive. I'm cold. Felt. Fine. Where are we headed? We got to go interview the hus. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharp as my investigatory instincts, folks. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long mm. as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind. You know, you picked the wrong job of a healthy thirst avenger. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Okay, all Phil. The politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor wow. syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Mm. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my okay, God, Phil. brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Okay, Phil. I'm gonna keep making you look good, bro. I don't want to check the front door first. Can I look around? Yo, I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Let me find out. He just conveniently not home. Oh, the windows busted in the back. Rest get in there, then side window's been jimmy. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Hmm, sound like it's a lot going on. Then somebody already broke in the joint. Size nine. Size nines. Above average for a lady. Mm, okay. Burglar used a pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a thirty dollar suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. What the hell is a thirty dollar suit, Rusty? I don't need to see that. What we got in here? No, I don't need to see that either. Okay, y'all. Let me finish checking the house. Then we gonna go. We gonna go in the backyard. Hmm. Mm hmm. Would this be the ring case? Tiffany. 
rest of this stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Nothing in the closet. Nothing but a blow dryer. Better than me to connect that. Okay. Why so dirty here though? Bedroom dirty. Let's see what y'all got in this office there? Nothing. What the hell was that? I heard that. I'm about to go check outside, bro. Let me go to the back door right quick. What's this? We need to work the home address again. Rusty, I haven't left the home address. I'm here, buddy. <clears throat> if you sober up, can't so find me at the apartment. Obviously, you can find me at apartment two. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, so we get nasty on Thursday. Canvas the neighbors. All right, let me go check at the neighbor's that house. Homicide, badge number 564. Oh, that go a neighbor right the there. Ha! Ah. Stop the car. Stop the. Stop the. Hey, 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 hey! I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Yeah. LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's okay. going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. Mm. He stormed out, and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. Okay, so she, she was, was in the house very too. drunk to have been driving, but she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. Okay. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered. M -m 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 murdered. Yes. Oh my God. Oh. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. I can I ask you some questions? Okay, wait, you gonna go in the house and sit down or you gonna go over here and sit down? Can I ask you more questions? Can I interview her? Just, just give me some time to myself, please. Oh my God. Guess not. Ah, over that. So he gave her a black eye. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. You're okay, behind Russ. the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Jacob Henry apartment. Why are you asking dumb questions? Like we Jacob Henry had a about. violent argument with his wife last night. It was looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so you probably deserve it. Skipper says bring him in. We'll keep the hats off her backs for a living. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay. Which apartment hey, was it? We go in hard. You follow my lead. Oh, all right, Rusty. We got the guns out. Look. Who won't that? Who won't? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Play with me. Oh, there you go right there. There you go right there. Yeah, yeah. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? Thank -E. you. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics. Oh, oh my RKO, god. Pal. You got bigger problems. 
What the hell are you talking about? Let's follow Rusty Lee. You come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh... Yeah, Jesus. What size shoe you wear? Oh, you lucky I can't ask you, but... I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. Oh, okay. Do something about my wife. Thanks for the offer. I need you to do something about my wife. Oh. The oldest problem there is. What to do about the old lady? Okay. What's that? My bat? He'll be back in just night. I doubt nah. it. Ain't no blood on it. I thought that was blood. What's in here? Oh, some shoes. Size eight. Size eleven. Size elevens. He's not the man, but he don't need to know he's not the man. Size 11 shoe. Okay. Ain't nothing back here. Nope. Can't check the trash. Nothing here, nothing there. Let's talk. Motive for murder. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. You the damn lie. Death threat note. Right? Personal note written by Jacob. You never gave up. That's a lie. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Huh? What you gonna do? You looking like you want to fight, but you ain't really about that ash. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. Okay. I was trying to have her committed. Okay. When last time you seen her? When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Hmm. Missing jewelry, side they shoot. Husband's alibi. He went to see her and he left. Forced entry. Marital problem. Hmm. Remove that. So I was either he lying or he telling the truth. I mean, but he did leave. But I feel like, I feel like, listen, I feel like if I tell the truth, I mean, if I say he's telling the truth, they're going to give me that ding, ding, ding. Anyway, but he did leave. She said he left, but they was having marital problems. I'm going to go lie. That's a lie, and you know it. You tailed her, watched her come out of a bar, and then beat her to death. Admit it, Henry. Why? Would I do that, detective? Am I selling y'all? My wife was a drunk. It was a sickness with her. Doesn't mean I didn't love her. Would you stop loving your wife if she was unwell? No, I wouldn't. It's 
So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Dang, y'all. We know that she drinks, Jacob. Drunks have regular haunts, places they feel relaxed. <sighs> Celine did most of her drinking at home. Cat. Didn't have many friends left. <laughs> Not many alcoholics do. Damn, Not bro. Real friends, anyway. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. Not the going out type. I mean, but if he was home, you called the bar to give yourself an alibi. Then you went <clears> in <throat> there, beat her, dumped her in a park. I think you are a sack of shit, Jacob. You're not gonna pin Celine's death on me. I'll take a lie detector test to prove it. I know he didn't kill her, but I can't say it's a lie. If I hit husband's alibi and get it wrong, I'm be tight. Sorry. I'm going to just doubt. Sometimes I'm you have doubt. to shake the tree to see what falls out. This is going to be three wrong in a row. I'm going to doubt. So you were here, tucked up in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got. <clears throat> Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you he called here last night, and I answered the phone. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you think you're killing her. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Okay. Okay, You're yeah. awful hot under the collar, friend. Oh. 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 Watch out. What's up? What's up? Suki. 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 Moki. I'm playing on me, boy. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. He just got beat the hell up by Cole. Stop playing with me. I stole it, y'all. Operator, message for KGPL. <sighs> so. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. Hit him with it, Cole. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. Thank you. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Damn. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything oh. else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs brown, to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. I sold on this one, y'all. But he wore a size 11. It couldn't have been him. 
I can't sell the next one. Where the hell are you going? You driving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? We're going to Mendez. He talking about talk to the bartender at the uh, Bomba Club. His brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complaints. I sold. Exactly what they're going to get. I was supposed to use husband's alibi to evidence, and I didn't. I can't sell on this one. That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Oxymoron. Mendez. Mendez. Apartment, Apartment 16. 16. I'm coming for you, Mindy. Mendez. Fourth floor. Coming for you, Mendez. I'm here, Mendez. It's me, fresh Don't suit. Knock and oh, just the kick the door in. I'm gonna get loose. <gasps> Take a look around and see what you can find. Mendez. This is I ain't gonna go in the bedroom just yet. What oh, we got? Kitchen clean. He keeps it clean. Okay. Seems irrelevant. Kavanaugh. Back foot. They like they Kavanaugh's. Huh? Oh, the murder weapon. Oh, the murder weapon. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. Whoa. And the lipstick. Whoa. The He's down bad. The body. Oh, he down bad. This too convenient, though. Better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. Oh, I ain't gonna I'll lose. Get you know what they call me? They call I me Mr. Get right After there. him. Mr. Get After him. Mr. Get After him. Mr. Get After him. Mr. Get after him, Mr. Get at him, don't run. You my son, hold on. I keep my gun. You don't need to do this, Alonzo. Zo, why you running, Zo? Why you running, Zo? You see my roll game. Roll game official. Uh. Bro, he fast. How he get a car parked across the street? Get in and drive. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move, move, move. I got the fresh suit. I'm on your caboose. If you try to. Ah. Damn. Spit him out. Why you run? Are you running? I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his oh. vehicle, and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it, Rusty. Please. They. Under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Put your Run down, in the, air. the car upside down. Uncle, were you pointing that pistol? I 
can't stand a goddamn thing. So it was just him, just like that? You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. Just like that? It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. That's it? Really? I'm unfulfilled. Four star? Three star? I'm unfulfilled, y'all. Please hurry up and get that five likes. Get the five. Please, please hurry up and get the five likes so we can do another case. Because I'm unfulfilled on that first murder case. I feel like there's something. The suspect is in the bag, even if you did leave Jacob sweating in central locker. Okay, yeah. But that five likes, man, we be here on the next one. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm done, bro. Like, I'm unfulfilled about that. Peace.